one of the things that I have I had been struggling with is being brought up to learn or to be taught that in order for you to advance spiritually I must be humble and in order and, and, and humility is all about you are better than I am uh, you are more learned than I am and I'm going to humble myself before you and whatever we do in humility uh, you know we we serve others and when we serve others our attitude is more about f focusing inward to us, saying, I am humble, and therefore I am bowing myself before you. And then you hear about these sages who have, uh, who, have uh, who are mystics and they're drawing us to them. And they're saying, you are divine from within. You are uh, all that is, you are God. Uh, God lives within you. There are many excerpts from all over the spiritual books, uh, corpus of literature out there, whether it is uh, scriptures or whether it is Sufi mystics who wrote books or who spoke about it or did sermons who say, God is closer to you than your jugular vein. And so the idea there is then, if I'm humbling down and saying to somebody, I am lesser than you, uh, that does not line up with, I am divinely magnificent. So what is it? Uh, how can we reconcile the two? And this is something I, I, I struggled with for a while. And I, I realized uh, something very interesting after uh, doing some introspection. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this. One of the things that I, I, I did realize that, you know, when I dug deep into mysticism and the whole idea uh, about humility, humility has been uh, put as a label because we didn't really understand what it what what the sages and mystics and scriptures were saying We just thought we would be humble Being humble is taking our pride out of the way taking our our, our, our self-driven ego our selfishness out of the way So the question then becomes can you be selfless at the same time? Uh, project magnificence uh, Can you provide that? that personality can you build that personality in you that you are actually selfless you are accepting that by hurting somebody that person I'm hurting myself because in the end we are all one so if we can embody that spirit now we can we can speak with others with respect we can actually become one with the universe because when we become one with the universe we are out of this body out of this shell when we go in deep into meditation, we go beyond our three-dimensional form and we go into that space where you are nothing, where you are nobody, where you are no one, but because you're everything, you're everybody, you're everyone. And when you do that, you are actually saying, I am magnificent and I am everyone. So uh, uh, that's something that I, it helped me understand how I can be uh, close to that divine magnificence being that I am at the same time being selfless in what I do because I recognize uh, I'm, I'm really nobody I'm really uh, no one because I'm everybody I'm everyone and when you do that you suddenly have this perspective uh, in life now that is a mastery that we need to build in our, our, our bodies and it comes with practice it comes with ingraining and establishing our, our, our presence in that way so claim your magnificence, claim your divinity, humbling yourself before others is, is, is being somebody, is being someone because you are saying, I am humbling before you. Whereas the whole idea and the sages and the scriptures were really meant to say was become nobody, become no one, become everything, become everyone. And that's really the essence of humility. So claim your divinity, claim your greatness, be selfless and build that into your body and uh, view life in that way and perhaps uh, perhaps we will move better that way I know I'm starting to uh, perceive life in that way and, and uh, of course there are challenges and we'll work towards those challenges and through these breathing techniques uh, we'll get one step closer